right, so we're going to separate the different elements of this barrel right here using quick mask and then saving those quick selections into individual channels. So let's get started. If I click on quick mask, the shortcut is the letter Q, you will notice that our foreground and background colors turn to black and white. And that is because we are going to be working on a black and white image. So if I use my brush and start painting, I'm going to make a quick selection of this plank right here with the brush tool and again I'm clicking and then holding the shift key so I can get these straight lines and if I have a curve what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making shorter strokes like right here for example right and again remember that you are painting on a black and white image the reason why we see the color green is because I am in quick mask and my color was green let me get back into quick mask and if I switch colors by hitting the letter X I'm switching the black for the white alright so now I'm painting over the black but was green which is the green that you see right here alright so I'm gonna paint this first plank right here and then I will continue to paint the rest and I'm going to explain to you my thought process about painting channels. Again, I'm going to hit X to switch to white. A lot of people get confused because they see this green color and they're like, hey, wait a minute. Why am I painting green and where is this green color coming from? Well, actually it's not green. It's just the color of the mask that is green. All right. So if you go to your channels and you turn off RGB, notice that your quick mask is black and white. Okay. So I'm going to fill the rest of this selection right here that I've painted using quick mask very fast with a bigger brush like so. Alright, and we are not going to spend any more time doing the rest. I'm just going to tell you what my thought process is for this piece right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add this plank right here to the selection, then this plank right here, right? And I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay, so we are back and um, I finished the uh, planks right here and I'm going to show you a um, really easy way of starting the other two planks, right? So we get out a quick mask by hitting Q and you will notice that our alpha that set quick mask before it's gone. Uh, don't worry about it, you still have the selection and if you want to save the selection, all you have to do is go to the second icon from the left right here the one that says save selection as a channel and then you just click on it and there it is here's your channel I can deselect right now and it's all black and white it will turn green once I turn on RGB and if I want to change the color of this alpha all I have to do is double click on the icon and I can change the color right here I can also change the opacity I'm going to change it to 35 so you can see the difference and I can change the name and I can call this one planks underscore zero one and again always have selected areas I'm gonna hit OK and here's the changes now a really cool trick is that once you deselect by going to select deselect 
I can create a new alpha. I don't have to go to quick mask. And you will notice that everything turns white. That is because the alpha now is the only thing selected and the only channel that we can see. So I'm going to turn on RGB and I'm going to turn on the visibility of our planks 01. And to turn these planks into a selection, there's two ways you can do it. You can go to the channel and click on the first button right here, which is load channel as a selection. Right? Let me deselect again. Select, deselect. Or you can hold the command key on a Mac and the control key on a PC and click on your channel's thumbnail, this icon right here. And that channel's will convert whatever is painted into a selection. So we can take advantage of this by having the alpha channel selected. I'm going to deselect again, control D. Hold the command key on a Mac, control key on a PC, and click on your channel's thumbnail. And what we want to do is we want to select the opposite of what Planks wants is, meaning the area around, right? If I turn off Planks 1, and I start painting, you will see that we're painting the same thing as Planks 1. We don't want that. We want to select the opposite of Planks 1. So I'm going to go to Select Inverse. And now when I paint, I paint everything but Planks 1. So this is a really good way of quickly painting the other planks and I will return once I'm done painting these planks. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to change the color of this alpha by double clicking on the icon and let me change this to for example a green. And now if I turn on planks 1 you will have noticed that by selecting the content of planks 1 and then going to select inverse, I was able to quickly paint the edges that they both share. And then I painted the outside of the barrel. So with this technique, I'm quickly going to paint the other elements of this barrel. And I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so we're back. And as you can see, I've painted the different sections of this barrel and now we can move on to our next section which will be to paint those different elements in our layers by always going to your channels and command on a Mac or control on a PC and clicking on the icon of those channels to get the different selections as you can see right here. So this is how we use quick mask and then our alpha channels to paint and to save our selections in Photoshop.